Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. Uh, my range buddy gave me this stock off of a new uh, 1022 that he bought because he was upgrading the stock to something that had 500 adjustments on it. I'm kidding, it's not 500, but it has a lot of adjustments on it. Anyway, it's beautiful. And I'm going to replace my plain wood stock on my 1022 with this one. And I think I'm going to have to uh, dremel out a couple of little places, but I think it's going to be almost a drop in. Let's see how it goes. So there's only two things to undo. There's like a metal strap for a sling stud on the front there and then just one screw in the middle which is a captured screw apparently because it doesn't come out and I think I'll tape up the muzzle end there's no protection on this just in case something happens so what I'm doing is I'm making a scribe line I got a shadow on my phone there sorry there that's better so I'm scribing a line where the bolt comes up from the bottom there and I'm then scribing a line where it meets right there sorry my headlamp is giving me problems there right there you can see the line I drew right there for that hole in the lower receiver. So those two have to line up. So I, I can't go forward. I've got to go backward. So backward means if you look down there, I've got to trim some of that wood right there. You see where it's the lower receivers right over that wood right there. So I'm going to mark it with a scribe and then I'm going to take my tool and carve it out like in a, a semicircle like that. About looks like about a quarter inch. Maybe I'll take a little extra. Not too much. I think you can see those dots that I made right there in kind of a semicircle, a C shape. That's where I'm going to grind away and I'm going to grind straight down so straight down about at least a half an inch and going in there roughly a quarter inch and I'm going to go a little less at first and then I'll I'll make it more if I need to make it more because I want that to be kind of a tight fit there um, so that uh, you know it's kind of like custom fitting the lower receiver to this frame okay i think one of these little round sanding wheels might do it it's coarse so that should cut that wood let's try it so this is where i ended up i dropped it in this this screw will tighten up here but i think on the gun that this stock came off of i think there's another screw here and on mine it was here and here two places of attachment so i'm thinking i have to figure out some way to anchor this receiver into the stock back here right around this area here so what i'm thinking is possibly to flow something in there like an epoxy or some kind of a resin or something flow it in there and i'm going to show you I'm trying to do this with one hand I think it'll flow into here, right, down there into here, and then I'll be able to take this in and out, and that 
whatever I decide to put in here will be attached to the stock, the wood stock, but it will not fasten itself to this metal. So I guess I'm kind of looking for any ideas, if you guys and gals have any ideas on what material I could use to flow into this hole here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I know there's a lot of stuff that, that will be liquid and then turn more towards a solid. Uh, but I don't know which one. I'm not a chemist. I don't know um, the specifics. So if you have an idea... Uh, put it down in the comments. Uh, if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up or a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Ring the bell if you want notifications. Uh, be safe. Have fun. Froggy out. Let's go, Brandon.